Hello, it's me James, and welcome back to another episode of Simply Survival. This is the series where I like to show you tips, tricks, and tutorials, and of course, we like to do this in complete survival. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you three very simple illegals slash unobtainables that you can get in your world literally right now. Now, because of the 1.18 update, things do change a little bit, so I'm going to go over what has changed. Some things have stayed the same, so I mean, that's pretty decent. With that being said, let's Let's jump straight on into the video. So for number one, I want to get the tile bubble column name item block. This is basically just the, you know, bubble column block. It's pretty useless. You can't really like place it down. I mean, you can like attempt to. I'm not sure if you can place it down underwater. I mean, we can uh, try that right now. Bruh. All right. I th think we just lost that. All right, yeah, so don't just place them underwater because you do just lose them. I mean, I think if you place them on soul sand or something, they'd probably stay. But how you get this block is literally like this. So you're going to want to build this simple machine. All you're going to want is a pressure plate, one piston, a couple pieces of obsidian, a couple holder blocks like you see here, one dispenser. I'm not even sure the observers need it anymore. This could be a solid block. Of course, you're going to need some redstone to link all of this up and set it up exactly like this it really is super simple and also you are gonna obviously need a magma block or obviously like soul sand here torches and a silk touch pickaxe or like shovel or something i'm gonna use a pickaxe so i did a little bit of testing on this yesterday i'm gonna attempt this a couple of times maybe two or three times on my realm but for the most part for whatever reason the best way to get this now is actually on a normal world whereas before it was on a realm i got this first time on a normal world so i'll jump on a normal world to show you if this does uh, fail but yeah basically all we want to be doing is walking forward and kind of like mining and mining the torch at the same time now i'll be surprised if i get it on my realm but let's give it a go and uh yeah we didn't get it but let's try it a couple of times before we you know give up you just gotta reset it now it does look like the water's still there but that's ghost water that's another little change that's um i mean it doesn't really do much but it's just changed so let's get the pickaxe silk touch and boom i don't think we're gonna be able to get it i mean i'll, I'll try one more time before going on to a normal world get the silk touch pick and mine like that and unfortunately we wasn't able to get it so I'm going to jump onto a copy of my world just to show you how, like, you can get this really easily. So, right then, I was playing on Simply Survival The Realm, which is just my solo survival realm. Now, I'll show you how to get it just on a normal world. It's exactly the same process, but for whatever reason, it just works on a normal world a lot better. So, I didn't have to try very many times. Fingers crossed, we don't have to try many times. And, yeah. So, same situation. We're going to place a torch there, like so. We're simply going to walk and mine at the same time, like that. And, oh, damn, we did. We got two. We got it first time on a normal world. Let me try that again to see if it is, like, just a fluke or if you can get it every single time. You can see that we got two bubble columns at the moment. I'm going to keep going and... All right, I think, I think maybe it was a flute. Let me try again. Maybe I can get another one. Maybe it's just all about timing. And there we go. So you've got to make sure you mine that torch and you continue to mine. Let me set that up again. And it's actually really, really simple. In fact, it's a lot simpler than I remember. Okay, so one thing I have noticed is I do have a beacon on. I'm going to remove that right now to see if that does have any effect upon the bubble column machine so let me go ahead and remove that i think it shouldn't matter too much hopefully i can get it first time so it like i mean yeah i didn't get it let me try that one more time and yeah no i was able to get one so i mean it doesn't matter let me do that again just to show you boom it is all about like you have to mine the torch make sure you mine the torch you don't want the water to remove the torch you want to like mine the torch so you kind of like mine the bubbles as well Let's try this one more time. And did we get another one? No, we didn't get another one. One more time, very quickly. And I mean, no. But I was able to get at least one without the beacon on. Oh, there we go. We got another one. So you don't actually need a beacon on, just to let you guys know. Up next, we got this epic block. This is actually the unexploded TNT block. And the only way you can move this around, you can't get it in your inventory, but the only way you can move it around is via a 
fishing rod and since 118 there has been a slight change to the way that you need to obtain this although i mean it's not that different like i said yeah there is a change so i'm going to show you right now very quickly let me run over the materials you're going to need to get this unexploded tnt blob you're going to need one lever a bunch of redstone just to be safe bring yourself half a stack of redstone i mean you don't even need half a stack there's like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten like 11 bits that you're gonna need one dispenser bring yourself one two three four five six seven eight nine ten repeaters a couple of solid blocks so we can use that just for the uh redstone current to go around and of course you're going to want to make sure this area is safe and ready for you to do this one last thing you're going to want to make sure you've got a flint and steel inside your dispenser also grab yourself one last piece of redstone and of course your tnt now if we come to this side of the portal you can see i've got a little bit of redstone here what this bit's going to do is actually fire the tnt and what the dispenser is going to do is light the portal it's important that you copy this exactly with the repeaters on the exact tick delay for every single one also you're going to have some explosions in your nether area and yeah you don't want that to happen so make sure you put these on full tick delay like that but the last one you want to make sure you just click it twice so again the last one you just want to click it once and twice then just connect it up to this dispenser like that go ahead and place your tnt with a piece of redstone on top finally grab your piece of obsidian to complete your nether portal and all you got to do is literally flick the switch and i mean you can stand away but it's not going to blow up it should be super safe when we go through we will have another unexploded tnt block so as you can see we have got ourselves another unexploded TNT block. Now, um, if you want to get this out, what you're going to need to do is remove some of the portal. A couple of blocks should be okay. And then simply get your fishing rod and pull it to wherever you want to like locate it. I'm going to pull it to over there. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long. But, I mean, you kind of get a technique with it like continues the miss three times in a row <laughs> lol for like bits like this you have to do like a trick shot so you have to lift it and then hit it again like that see that super awesome trick shot so lift it and then lift it again i mean it's kind of a trick shot right for the water you gotta repeat it with oh damn it's so hard if it goes underwater oh damn i caught a bone right you gotta go down like this and go close to it and then pull it out and try and link it again like that and then just pull it out of the water and just do a little trick shot like that nice nice we're actually nearly there right might need to do a little trick shot up here hopefully we can do it pro oh damn come on pro trick shot oh damn i mean kind of all right i give up i'm removing that block come on nice let's go so there we go unexploded tnt block i now have three super easy to get just a little adjustment in the 1.18 version and finally we have one of my personal favorites of all time and that is of course immortal mobs or at least nearly immortal mobs these things do take damage to magic so like they can't fight withers or dragons other than that they're pretty immortal watch this i mean i hate to do this but they will never die it's just like awesome but i mean it's not a very nice sound ah ah help this is karma what what is going on <laughs> all right eventually we was able to put it out but yeah, these guys are like completely immortal. Even if I were to hit them with this super OP sword, that is not netherite. I mean, I totally need to make it netherite. But yeah, even if I hit both of these, they are super immortal. Now, this little guy is actually a baby of those two. But I mean, I hate to do this, but if I, I'm not going to kill it. I mean, I'm, I'm just not going to do that. But if I had the pack on, I'll show you right now from the other video. Now, this little guy is actually not immortal. As you can see, I bred him earlier from those two, the immortal ones, when they was like all glitched out and that. I wanted to see what would happen. And yeah, nothing happened. They just gave birth to a normal little dog. So, I mean, ah, I'm sorry. I totally just fishing rod my dog. Sorry, dude. Yeah, so we need a name for this. Um, Yeah. 
give me a name if you want a good name or uh, i just i just won't dude he just grow up in front of my eyes oh damn we've literally watched him grow up damn yeah so yeah we need a name for him here take this bone do they not eat bones anymore? All right, no, that's how you tame them. Anyway, yeah, we need a name. Right, so you actually want to know how to make these things. It's actually really quite simple. All you're going to need to do is set yourself up a little place like this, a three by three hole. In fact, it doesn't need to be three deep, just like two deep like this. Then place yourself two dispensers, a lever in the middle, and inside those dispensers, you're going to want a damage potion and a health potion then you're gonna want to get your pets that you want to like make immortal and simply take them down to two hearts there's a really good texture pack that i'll put in the description below that actually shows you the health indication so you you don't accidentally kill them but for a dog if you just hit them with a stick i believe you have to hit them eight times to get them down to two hearts that's of course for people who can't download the texture pack but once your dogs are down to two hearts or like whatever mob you're going to use, simply place them central in your chamber like this. As you can see, mine are like in front of each other. One's in the middle and one's like kind of in the center block at the back. Once you are happy with this setup, I would recommend making a copy of your world just in case anything were to go wrong and you know you accidentally kill your favorite dog so that doesn't happen make a copy of your world and you should be a-okay and as soon as you've done that simply press the lever and your dogs will start going a little bit crazy now it does say that they've died in the death message just there as you can see but i mean they're not dead i mean they're literally in front of us just red and all crazy if we like walk over here a little bit they still go red and crazy now you can fix this so they don't look like that but i mean they do look pretty epic i'm not gonna lie the simplest way to fix this so they don't look red anymore is just like go away from them so they're not loaded anymore and then just come back and then they will be normal dogs again of course at this point they will be immortal as well but if you breed them together they will make just normal dogs which i mean it's a little bit sus they should probably make immortal dogs they are i mean immortal all right this next bit is a clip from my twitch stream it's me james o'hara again i'm gonna put it in the description below long story short i can't put all the audio on because i was singing country road and i don't want to get copyrighted so i mean i'll put a little bit in to mama take me home ah 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 country road <laughs> Long story short, we throw uh, a dog down the void and it just lives there. Probably gonna plan to try and like save him somehow. If anyone's got any ideas, let me know. But I mean, he did have a spyglass and some food to uh, keep him going for a little bit. But yeah, there we go. That is literally how to make immortal mobs slash dogs. Again, you can actually do this to players and like any mob in the game, I believe. Just make sure you've got the selected mob lined up perfectly and it should work every single time. But there we have it. Three very simple illegal slash unobtainables that you can get in your world like right now so that's all i've got time for today i will catch you on the next one